Hey everyone, this is Christopher Lux. I'm the former CEO of Air New Zealand. This is John Lee Dumas, the founder and host of Entrepreneurs on Fire. This is Tracy Ibarra. I'm an executive solutions at Dell Technologies. This is Travis Chappell, founder of Build Your Network. If you are wanting to learn how to embrace change and to navigate through disruption as a leader, then listen to the Leadership is Changing podcast. The Leadership is Changing podcast. The Leadership is Changing podcast with my good friend, my very good friend, Dennis Giannoukos. Welcome to Leadership is Changing. Each week, we and our guests provide information and insights through exploring leading change. This is taking your leadership to another level by finding the balance between executive excellence and personal well-being through stories that inspire real change. It's time to adapt in our fast-moving world when leadership is changing with your host, Dennis Giannoutsas. Hey, welcome to the show, Leadership is Changing. What we as leaders know to be true is that change is constant. Leaders everywhere confront similar obstacles because people are people, but everywhere you go, leaders are overwhelmed, disrupted, and under pressure. They run from email to email, meeting to meeting. Many leaders are not changing quick enough, which means they run the risk of becoming irrelevant and being left behind. The purpose of the show is taking our listeners' leadership to another level by finding the balance between executive excellence and personal well-being through stories that inspire real change. I believe we don't have enough effective leaders in the world today, and if we can get the leaders to step up and lead change, then they can inspire real change. Hey, listeners, it's now time to adapt in our fast-moving world. And if you haven't already checked out the Facebook group, uh, leadership is changing. Go ahead and check that out, and um, love to see you there. If you're on LinkedIn, check out the LinkedIn page called Leadership is Changing, and uh, love to see you there as well. So, welcome to this Ask Dennis episode, episode 99. Wow, unbelievable! But we're at 99, episode 99, and this is a freestyle episode where I'm asked a question by our listeners, and I share my thoughts, insights, and experiences from working with many leaders around the globe. So I want to welcome you today, listeners, to this episode. Today, I want to talk to you about the voice of impact and what does that all mean. The other day, I had my four-year anniversary of having a checkup with the specialist as a result of a tumor being removed from my left vocal cord. The result four years ago was that it was being uh, that it was benign, and I got my voice back. The checkup happens every year annually. And uh, we went, and it went really well. And the specialist was very pleased with the the results and how things were going for me. And I shared with him the fact that I had launched a podcast, and he was like, "Oh, wow!" So we talked about that. He said he was a podcast fan and would check out my podcast. I wonder if he's listening now. <laughs> I wonder if he is. Hello, and a very good friend of mine who I've actually interviewed for the podcast, and. That uh, episode will be released sometime soon. She talked to me about my journey with the voice and talked about the fact that it was the voice of impact rather than the voice of silence. And that's really quite interesting to hear that play of words. When I had surgery four years ago, in November 2016, I had three months off to, uh, you know, from work to recover. And when I was doing that, I actually found it was great time to think about things. I was thinking about where I wanted to go and so forth. And when you take some time out to think, it's really amazing what can happen or what can come up for you. A lot of leaders don't take time out to do that. So I'm going to say to you as a business owner, as a leader, whatever role you're doing today, please take time out to think about things uh, that you want to do going forward. You'll be surprised at what you might actually come up with. And as I thought about it, there were certain things that came into my mind about the topics in relation to the voice and around leadership and the whole journey. And that's where the title and domain name uh, was available, which I found interesting. So I secured the domain name, findyourleadershipvoice.com and findingyourleadershipvoice.com and leadership is changing. When Joanna said to me a few days ago about the voice of impact, I was like, wow. And I went online to get the domain name and it was really taken. For those people who know, know me really well, I like to get these domain names if they're available. But that one was taken. But what I found was that the voice of impact, so the voice of impact.com was available and I secured it. And I think it's actually quite a strong title. 
it has a lot in it, just in that in that title itself. As I think about the voice journey and the understanding of what it was, it was a scary time and it was an unfamiliar territory and it was the unknown that was really scary for me. And a lot of people don't like going to the doctors, in particular men don't like going to the doctors, and they don't like going to doctors, and they're not very good at doing that at all. We all need to go to the doctor on a regular basis and make sure that we're looking after ourselves. The Leadership is Changing podcast is not just about executive excellence, as I said in my introduction, but it's also about personal well-being. It's about looking after ourselves, which is really important. We all need to look at uh, going to the doctor on a regular basis to make sure that we are what I call match fit. So we are able to perform in our roles and do very well. Things like sleep, water, breathing, exercise are some of the things that we need to do to make sure that we're looking after ourselves. Now, when the doctor was having a look through uh, at my vocal cords, it was quite interesting how they do it. They have a very long cord, or which is a camera, has a light on the end, and it goes into your nostril, down your throat, and into the vocal cord area. What I didn't know was when I first started this journey many years ago of the vocal cord side of things, what I learned was that the vocal cords close 160 times per second, which is really amazing. When they, I mean, I, I thought, really? And so when they actually slowed down the recording on the TV of the camera down looking at my vocal cords, you could see the vocal cords closing cl- um, slowly and how quickly it did it. It was just beautiful and brilliant to watch what should happen. We could see that the vocal cords were quite strong. And then after all these years, in other words, four years have gone by since the removal of the tumor, the voice has got stronger and stronger. And the reason I, why I launched the podcast was to get the voice out to be heard, but also to help other voices be heard. In other words, my guests, getting their voices heard as well with people around the world. Then helping the leaders, in other words, the listeners, develop their skills so that they can, during times of change, have a voice of impact and have it heard by their employees, their organizations, their customers, and their stake holders. The, the specialist and I, we, we celebrated the, the four years that had gone by. And you see, when somebody has ha- has a tumor, doesn't matter what it is, uh, removed, the specialists tend to do uh, a lot of checks on a, on a regular basis in the first year. And then they go to like once a year checkups, right up to five years. So I've got one more annual checkup to do, which will be uh, year five. And at the end of the day, team, we need to get to the doctor. We need to make sure that we're looking after ourselves all the time. Also, we need to have our voices heard. I think of a lot of leaders are hiding behind change and they're hiding behind all sorts of things and their voices are not being heard. Some of the voices are weak. Some of them lack confidence. In fact, some of their voices are non-existent. And if I can put that in a way, when I say non-existent, what do we mean by that? Well, it could have various uh, sort of directions or different pathways, if I can put it that way as well. By not saying something, that can be very loud. Because you think about a situation whereby you may be in a meeting room with so forth and somebody's being bullied. If other leaders don't step up and say something, then that's very loud in where they are standing with things. If you whisper, like gossip, the impact can be large and loud. What's really important here for us all is to make sure what we say, what we do, the actions we take, understanding that it has impact. How and what we say has massive impact. The voice of impact is really interesting, and it's a really important topic to talk about. The important thing here is that Uh, What can you do with your voice? And where can you go with your voice? This week is really the fourth week in the brand new year. And it's amazing how the fourth week is almost as well underway. And, um, And before we know it, we'll be at the end of the year again, and we'll be talking about 
how the year went, and we'll be talking about what the new goals are for the new year coming ahead. It's going to move really fast. So the question for you listeners is this. In fact, there's a few questions. How do you want your voice to be heard this year? What impact do you want your voice to have this year? And what's it going to be today? What's that voice going to be like this week? What's it going to be like this month? And what's it going to be like this year? It's not just about having a voice heard. And you know, I'm, I'm talking about more from a sound perspective. But it's also about what can you do in an article or in a social media post? You see, by putting some words together, that's also a voice. You could put some words around someone else's post as an example and post and put some of your thoughts around it. Tell us what you think, what your point of opinions are and what your thoughts are. And I know that a lot of, pe- a lot of people are a little bit of afraid to do that and put their selves out there or their opinions and thoughts around other people's posts or even their own posts, articles, blogs and so forth. But what I'm going to say to you is this, is for you to be calculated on what you're going to say and what you're going to do. Make sure, whatever you're doing, that you're always adding value. For executives, leaders, and entrepreneurs to be successful today, they need to be digital savvy. They have to understand the digital world. They have to be active in the digital world as well. Now, I'm not saying that you have to be out there day in, day out, every minute of the day on social media, taking your phone and doing certain things and replying to posts or people's messages. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm saying here is that you could write an article. You could write a blog. There is a post that you've seen from someone else that could be relevant for your audience, your network. And... What if you could put some words around their post and give some value and some context to help your network, to help your audience? I find that a lot of leaders and entrepreneurs and executives don't really have very much of a digital footprint, and I think it's really important they do, because that's all part of the voice as well. Even though it's written, even though it might be a video, whatever it is, it's a voice as well. So what's your voice going to be like? What are we going to hear from you this year as a leader? How's it going to go for you? So there's some interesting thoughts there for you, team, for you to think about the voice of impact. See, I launched this podcast with The Leadership is Changing seven and a half months ago. I was actually meant to launch it a year before that. And I got myself a mentor and we sat down, we talked about things and there were certain things I had to still put in place and hadn't put in place. Then I got busy, life got in the way and then things delayed and so forth and there was excuses and so forth. And I had to launch. I had to get to a situation. So I had some guests who I wanted to have on the podcast, but I knew I had to get them aired by a certain deadline. And so when lockdown happened, I was about to launch. And about five five weeks, six weeks into the lockdown in March last year, I was just working on all of this, and then I get a phone call for some work, some workshops, which I had to do over a two or three week period. And I was like, what? They're getting in the way. But you know what? It was important because I had 15 events cancelled. It was really important that I actually had some income coming in. So I focused on doing that, and then I said to the person that I wasn't available for the next two weeks because I had to get things launched. Well, we launched it. The team that helped me get things launched said to me, well, we've never launched it within a one and a half weeks. And so I just did it. Was it perfect? Probably not. Was it ever going to be perfect? No. But I just went with it, right? I had to. I I had everything I needed in place. I just had to go. It was nerve-wracking. It was, uh, it was uh, an experience whereby it was the unfamiliar territory for me. It was brand new. It was chaotic. It was something I didn't even know about properly. And so I gave it a go. This is episode 99. Episode 100 is going to come out this week. And so when we launched this, it charted up very well up in, up in, the, up in the areas in the first uh, few days with the likes of people like Gary V, 
So he was number 10 and I was number 11 overall. And in, uh, in the business, man, uh, that was in the business management category. But overall, he was 140 and I was 141. Pretty cool to be in that area team around with people like that. I decided to do three episodes per week. Three. And I was like, okay, I'm going to have to plan and work very hard to make sure I get this done. But then I committed to doing that. And three episodes per week for seven and a half months. That's how we've got to these numbers. And there was all sorts of reasons why I did three three episodes per week. But it's been a, a superb journey. The, the thing about doing whatever you're going to do, whatever you're going to do as a leader in life, for you to have a voice of impact, you have to be disciplined, focused, and consistent. And it's the consistency that helps your audience understand where you're at. I've had wonderful guests on the show that I've interviewed. I've had the privilege to be able to have some time with them. I've had the time with them to interview them, to get to know them more, for their voice to be heard, but for all of us to learn from them as well. And it's been amazing how they've all said yes to contributing to help others succeed. And the people, the guests have come from all walks of life, from around the world, And it's just been a real pleasure to have them on the show. The Ask Dennis Freestyle episode uh, happens once a week. And this is whereby I actually uh, asked a question by the listeners or I share my thoughts, insights and experiences from working with leaders around the globe. And that's gone very well as well. All part of the Leadership is Changing podcast show. Team, thank you so much. We are approaching 10,000 downloads, and uh, we're not too far away from doing that within seven and a half months. It's been a massive learning journey, and I've learned so much from it. I have people now asking me how to start one. I, I feel like a kid in a candy store. I can't get enough of this podcast. I can't get enough of the topic, but I can't get enough of the whole platform and how it's worked and what's happening here as well. So I'm going to take it to another level. I'm going to take things forward. Episode 100 will come out, then we'll keep going and we'll keep doing what we're doing and we want to get out there and get this message of leadership is changing, the voice of impact, getting out there, helping leaders who are overwhelmed, who are going from email to email, meeting to meeting to help them succeed and go forward. And that can be done through what we've got to offer here on this platform and helping our listeners by interviewing guests and also the Ask Dennis episodes. I want to thank our listeners. I want to thank you for downloading the episodes, having a listen, for all the messages that I've been sent, phone calls I've had, people that I've seen in different streets and different cities stopping me to say that they're really enjoying the episodes. But also, you know, I mean, you think about it. I, I hear I get a message from one lady who says, hey, I've just, I love the the episodes. I've just downloaded the latest one. I'm about to go out for my walk to listen to your episode. And she is in Barcelona, Spain. Then I get another phone call that same day from another lady who said that she's downloading the, the episodes, having a listen, and she's in New Zealand. Then I get another message the following day from someone else saying that they're really enjoying the episodes and they're in the US. And it's just like, wow. So all these different people are having some impact and people are resonating with the Leadership is Changing topic. They think it's fantastic. They, they think it's real hot and they're learning a lot from it as well. I also want to say thank you to all the people that I got a chance to interview to date and going forward. Been a real privilege to be around you. Thank you so much for what you do in your businesses, as in your roles uh, and uh, and so forth today but also contributing to the show. And also I want to say thank you to the support team. The team that do that they've helped me set this up, the team that have actually helped me with the production all the time, the team that helps me with the design side of things as well, and the artwork that you see and so forth. Thank you to all of them. And a massive thank you to Mary, my partner. I, um, I love you so much, and I just want to thank you so much for being there as my rock to support me and, and be there for me and uh, help me move this forward, which has just been uh, tremendous. And 
So I'm very, very grateful for all of that that uh, I'm saying thank you to, team. Listeners, look, if you haven't already joined the Facebook group, Leadership is Changing, or on the LinkedIn page, Leadership is Changing, go ahead and do that. Invite other people to come along to it. Let's get this whole community underway. I'm finding there's a lot of leaders out there today who are lonely. They're not going to admit it, but they are lonely. Their voice of impact can change. The whole Leadership is Changing can change. Why? Because they can get around people who are like-minded, be around a community. And uh, that's very exciting for them to be around. So feel free to invite others. Feel free to join yourself if you haven't. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on that group on Facebook and also on the LinkedIn page as well. Now, I know that a lot of you at a situation whereby you do want to go to another level yourself. You want to take this year and you want that voice of impact to be stronger. You want to make sure things are going out there and putting things in place. So here's an offer for you. A free 30-minute strategy session. Now, feel free to send me an email, which will be in the show notes, or a private message on social media. This is a 30-minute strategy session. Probably go longer, team. But this session is for me to sit down with you to hear about what you're trying to do, to to help you get clarity, to help you understand where you want to go, but then also talk about what might happen for you and what things you might need to put in place. I'm more than happy to do this, to help your voice of impact, to help you through this leadership is changing and understanding what you need to do to move forward team so take this opportunity it's not going to be around for much longer it's a free 30 minute strategy session and once again feel free to send me an email that'll be in the show notes or be a message on a private message on social media and then we can look at doing that so episode 99 looking forward to sharing with you episode 100 and then other episodes they're going forward as well Team, it's always a pleasure having you here on the show with me. I look forward to having you with me on further episodes as well. Feel free to share the show with other people. Let's get as many people as we can around the world listening to the Leadership is Changing. What we as leaders know to be true is that change is constant. Change is incredibly scary, especially with the unknown and the unfamiliar territory. It's time to adapt in our fast-moving world when leadership is changing. Listeners, look out for the episodes as they've been released. Download them, have a listen, put a review and a rating. And feel free to send them, send, uh, share them with your friends, your network, your family. Also, if there's any feedback you'd like to give me about the show, or there's a question you have for my guests as I interview them, or if there is a question for me on the Ask Dennis Freestyle episode, send me an email, dennis at leadingchangepartners.com. Team, it's always a pleasure to be with you again. Once again, thanks for tuning in. And until next time, bye for now. Thank you for listening to this episode of Leadership is Changing with your host, Dennis Giannoutsas. Each week, we and our guests provide information and insights through exploring leading change, inspiring executives and leaders to adapt and lead a bigger game in a fast-moving world. 